Hey guys! What was I talking about? Okay, so why am I doing this? I think I'm feeling like super pumped lately, to be honest, just because I'm really excited for the hamsters. Really excited to get Patch in the new cage. It is currently empty still back there. I finally clean it out and sanitize it. I use the vacuum and I just made sure to get all the poops that were out of the corner and like any sand that was in there. I will show you guys the setup behind me um, in the next video probably when we move Patch. We're not moving Patch in the new cage today. If you do want like a little sneak peek, um, I did post a little video on Instagram. So what are we doing today? First off, I really would like to make my way to Petco. So I think I'm gonna take you guys with to Petco. I need a few things. I am running out of whimsy chews. Only got a couple more left. I really wanna go and get um, like another bag to stay stocked up on whimsy chews because they are just amazing. Also, I am gonna need like one more bag of bedding for a patch. Um, the lovely Laura had sent me a bag of KT but since we are moving him into the bigger cage he is gonna need like another bag I know it's not gonna be enough so we're gonna grab another bag oh my gosh I'm like out of breath yeah, and then you know we can just go walk around and look at all the pets which is something I always love to do so when we get back home I really would like to open up this little package that I got from Lewis it's like a little surprise package right here and I just really want to open it it's been sitting here for like a week you guys know me. It's it's really difficult not to open something when it's just sitting there. Lewis is awesome. He has a YouTube channel as well and a hamster that and he thought his hamster was a girl and he named her Yuki and then later on he found out that his hamster was a boy. I just told her that I was filming and now she put on the vacuum upstairs. I'm gonna leave Lewis's channel down below if you guys want to check him out and say hi. Yeah, let's just go ahead and make our way to Petco. I hope you guys will enjoy and I'll talk to you in a bit. We are at Petco, and also I'm gonna probably make a stop at GameStop, which is down below, because my youngest brother is turning 16 tomorrow. So crazy how time flies. Like, Roche just graduated. He is actually on a trip right now, like like this graduation trip, and um, so that's why she's not with today, because usually she likes to come along with me um, when we go to like a pet store or something, so it's just gonna be us today. I think I'm gonna get my brother just like a little um, steam card because he's really big into like gaming and all that stuff so I think I'm gonna do that I know that'll make him happy they can get any kind of game that he wants yeah we are gonna go in now let's do this get a phone in here go I wish there was like another Petco that was close to me because I'm always like going in the same one First, I want to get some whimsy chews, and then, oh, you know what? Let's go look at the reptiles quick. Let's go see them. Little snake. How cute. There's another one. See anything? You guys see anything? Oh, there's one in here. It's an African fat tail gecko. It's just a little baby. Oh my gosh, the reflection is awful. Here is, what is it, a Russian tortoise. Oh my gosh, $140. That's crazy. Look at the snake, he came down. Look at the baby leopard geckos. Oh my gosh, look at these frogs. They're like bright green. They're like neon green. Fire belly toad. Those are cool. Oh, here's the baby. They're so sweet. Let's go find some Whimsy Chews. So I found the Whimsy Chews. This is usually, what bag do I get? These are like humongous. These are like, look how big those are. So I have hedgehogs, but the hedgehogs are like super big. They are 20% off, so that is a good deal. So I think I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the alligators again because they've been really enjoying those. Because I almost, accidentally put the whimsy chews in my purse. So I almost forgot, I wanted to get the hamsters some turkey bites in the cat section. And because they really enjoyed them last time. And I think I'm gonna get Luna and Max. Well, Max doesn't care for treats for some reason, but um, I think I'm gonna get Luna 
something yummy too for her because she does enjoy treats. Let's just see if I can find. They're like freeze dried, freeze freeze dried chicken. Did I say turkey? That's not the snack aisle. We gotta find the snack aisle. There we go. I think I found this. Okay, so right here, ones I had gotten last time. A long time ago um, when I still had little Timmy and Coco and oh my gosh they loved them so much so I think I'm gonna get these again these were a hit let's hope they're a hit with Mochi and Patch and then for Luna I was thinking maybe this is a good brand blue so I can get these little tender tender bites and they're soft. Luna doesn't like hard treats. She likes soft treats though, so we'll get those. Cute all the stuff is. Let's look in the reptile section for a minute. Oh, I, oh, I love this little thing right here. I really want a reptile. Gosh, I really wish I could get one. One day I will though, you guys, like no joke. And I wish these weren't like so expensive. Also, I did recently have someone ask me um, if this reptile sand would be good for hamsters to use, and sadly it's not. Um, it has calcium in it, and um, that is not, and that's not very good for when, if they would digest it. So I recommend staying away from calcium sand. Let's go look at the hamsters now. I'm so excited. Some 55 gallon tanks. And um, the thing is, they are so awesome, but I feel like they're so skinny. Like they're not wide enough. And I wish they were a little bit wider. Like if these were wide, like a 40 gallon breeder, but long as a 55, oh, that would be amazing. It's the bedding. So Lori had gotten me a bag in this size, I believe, um, of the white KT Clean and Cozy. But what other color could we get for Patch? I'm trying to think. Okay, I think I'm gonna get this one for Patch. We'll just add the white and that color together. Oh my goodness, there's so many mice. Look how cute. There's so many, and my gosh, they're like super active. The goodies here. I'm gonna leave my bag right here. This stuff is the same. Need some new stuff. Look at the hamsters. Is there any? There's one in here. And there's a little dwarfy in there. I don't know if you guys can see, she has like a cream color. Looks like there's none in here. Let's look on the other side. They're like all gone. There's not many left. There's two in here. How cute. How cute. There's two of them sleeping. I came at a bad time. They're like all sleeping. We could go look at the fish quick. Oh, look how beautiful these are. like the cutest thing I have ever seen. I'm not even kidding. It'd be like super cool to get for the hamsters to like go in and out. My gosh, it's $50. It's so expensive. Maybe I'll save up one day for something like this. I just think that is the coolest thing ever. Got some more stuff over here we're gonna take a look at. This is like more of the natural section. These are kind of cute. You go ahead, I'm gonna grab another bridge for either Mochi or Patch. It's always good to have extras. I'm gonna get that. This red one is so pretty. Isn't that pretty? Fair. You're so cute. Gosh, I totally forgot that I have one of these at home in the bin. And I haven't used it yet or put it together. I need to do that. I think I'm done here. I am gonna go check out. I don't really need anything else at the moment. So 
Let's skedaddle. We're back in the car. Um, I had one of the workers come up to me and she's very, very nice. Like, I always talk to her when I um, go in the store. It's like, what? I was like, I'm not allowed to film in here, aren't I? And she's like, technically, no. I apparently was not supposed to be filming in there. But she had said, you know, all I can do is tell you not to, but I can't force you to not film. I was okay with it. Um, I kind of felt like everyone, every worker there was like staring at me. And it's weird because how many times have I filmed in there before for you guys? Like so many times and nobody cared. Like it was just really weird that all of a sudden, you know, like they were all staring at me with this camera. It, I mean, I don't know. Is it because I went in there by myself this time with a camera? Anyway, I'm going to run into GameStop now and get my brother his birthday card. And then we'll go home and open up that surprise package. I'm really excited about it. Um, like I had showed you guys, I just got the bedding and I got that bendy bridge, another one of those, and then the little treats for Luna and the other ones for, um, po pouch for Mochi and Patch. So I will talk to you guys when I get home. We are back home and let's go ahead and open this box. I'm really, really excited. Again, thank you so much, Louis, for sending us this package. So super sweet of you and I hope you know how much um, I appreciate it. And yeah, let's get into this. Oh my gosh, there are so many goodies in this box. Let me put it down and show you guys. Okay, so first he sent us some beautiful paper straws and because the 4th of July is coming up soon how awesome is this I'm definitely gonna have to do a cage theme um, especially if you sent such cute things so thank you so much and then he also sent me some LED lights and they're like little stars and I'm sure a lot of you guys know I am obsessed with like fairy lights or a little LED lights so this was like perfect I love it oh my gosh what is this you guys look how cute <laughs> like little plush emojis aren't they super sweet little guys are going on my shelf over here let me take the tags off one sit right here that works there was a card again. Oh my gosh. Okay, look how cute. It says Pam on the front. And I love how you drew these little hamsters. Very cute. It's a little note. Okay, the first thing I saw, okay, it's private, so I'm gonna be doing that later. Oh, Louis was telling me that um, you're gonna get one of the same things um, as I had gotten from in, in my trade package with Lori. And he sent us these cute little wood chews. It is always good to have these. Like the more more chew toys the better because hamsters chew so quickly sometimes especially mochi so having an extra pack laying around is amazing thank you so much next he sent us some yummy yogurt drop treats and these are the carrot cake flavor I have these strawberry flavored ones I do not have the carrot ones yet so I'm really excited I'm sure mochi and patch are gonna absolutely love these thank you so much Oh, how sweet. He sent us a little cute notebook. That is so nice of you. Again, I'm like really big into like journaling and all this stuff. So this was like, seriously, so nice of you. So this one is wrapped up and it's ceramic. It's a cup. It's a mug. Huge coffee drinker and I drink a lot of tea as well. And I've actually been on the search for a new cup because my other one that I really like to use actually broke the other day so hello perfect timing and it is literally and I'm not kidding it is the perfect size this is usually the size um, of cups that I go for it's super cute love it I'm gonna be drinking my coffee in the morning okay so the last thing in the box is this little Tupperware with stuff in it like what Oh my gosh, what is this? You gave us, oh my gosh, he sent us little treats in these adorable little containers. Look, it says mochi on the front, so this one, it has some mealworms in it, and loving your little hamster drawing is so cute. We have some other little treats right here. We got some, oh my gosh, we got some millet sprays in this one, 
and some more mealworms. So this one is for Patch. <laughs> this one's for Mochi. I love it. Okay, so I just read the little note that he had sent me. Honestly, I was like about to cry because it was really, really sweet. And Louis, you are an amazing person. I love your channel and I love your personality. I'm really excited to like incorporate this 4th of July in someone's cage. I don't know who's yet. And I'm gonna leave everything linked down below if you guys want to say hi to Lewis. I think that is basically it for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed um, going to Petco with me today. I kind of feel bummed that we didn't get to see the hamsters. I came at a really bad time. I went there way too early. I'm gonna move Patch in the next video and move him in his new cage. I'm really excited for him. I'll talk to you guys down below in the comments and I love you and I'll see you soon. Bye!